this video we are going to see client side reports so first of all we will see how to create simple reports simple table formatted reports means i want to extract the information in an excel sheet or pdf database is nothing but organization db and in this i have employee table and department table in employee table if i say show table data i have few records now i want to display this information with the help of report or i can say that i want to generate a report which displays the information about the employee so what is that i need to do the first step is i right click on this project i'll say add new folder i'll name it as reports in this reports folder i am going to add new item and i'll add a data set and i'll name the data set exactly same as reports name so these are all coding standards so that we should not get confused you can give any name but here i'll say emp details add i'll go to the server explorer i'll simply drag and drop employee table or what is that i can do i can write my custom query it's up to me if i want to display information only from employee table i can simply drag and drop employee table i'll get the complete table in my data set i'll save this now my information is ready or my data is ready i'll just click on this employee table adapter right click say preview data say preview my data is available to me now i need to create report so i'll simply right click in this reports and i'll say add new item report i'll name it as emp details underscore report i'll say okay now i can understand that to this report i need to bind the data which is coming from this data set employee details employee details underscore report now i got this report window here now let's go for toolbox i have toolbox now as i told you we need to create table reports so i'll simply drag and drop a table here now i'll click on the left topmost block of the table now the complete table got selected now i can use keyboard arrow marks to move it to the top position now i got the table i need to fill this table with data for that we have website website data source so this is website data source which displays employee details data set in which i have employee table and all the columns so i can simply resize the columns in this column i want employee id in this column i want employee name here i want employee salary if i want one more column where i want to display employee date of joining i can simply select this column right click i'll say insert column to right here i'll be displaying employee date of joining again i'll right click and i'll say insert column to right and here i'll be displaying employee gender now how to fill this table with information or with data it is very simple just select the field from the left drag and drop it in the center row i have header row 
details and footer i need to drag and drop it in details row i got employee id i'll select another and i'll drop it here employee name employee salary employee date of joining employee gender that's it now i can do little bit of formatting here i'll select the complete table i can give borders or i'll select single row give border and next row i'll give border the last row I'll again give border now to the top row that is nothing but header i can give background color as dark gray just i'm doing little bit of formatting that's it scroll this side this is the extra space that we have in our report i can simply drag it to the left so that it should fix we should not give any extra space save this now my data set is ready and i have binded this data set to the table now i'll just go to the default page i want to display that report here so in my toolbox in reporting tab i have microsoft report viewer control i'll simply drag and drop it i'll just increase the width now if i click on smart tag i have got choose report drop down list if i click on this it will show me all the reports which are available in my solution so as of now i have created employee details underscore report so i'll select this save this and i need to put xsd file in app underscore code folder and i'll execute this now i got the report i can simply select excel and i say export so open now i got the complete information in the same way i can export it to pdf or i can give print from here directly or i can search for something like i am searching for asif i'll say find now it is found here i'll say next so i got one more record here so there are two records then i'll say next now in this way i can search if i have multiple pages i'll get the pages page numbers here and i can simply zoom in or zoom out this report so this is a simple report simple table report now what if i want to display the information from multiple tables say i want to write a join so again it is very simple i need to go to employee table i'll simply delete this i'll right click and now i'll say add table adapter i'll say next say next query builder i'll add employee table and department table now i want to display the information from two table so i'll select employee id employee name employee salary department name and hod that's it i'll say okay next i can give some name to this method i'll leave it as it is as of now the next finish i got a data set with the name data table 1 i can rename this if i want emp details underscore data set save this now i'll go to the report so here we get the information from multiple tables thank you very much